YouTube family. Hey, now you can wait your whole life wondering when it's going to come or where it's been. You may have got your heart broken a few times in the past. It never lasts as strong as it used to. It don't feel as good as it used to before. And all the things you used to say, things you used to do went right out the door. Now everybody say, I want to be the one you trust. I want to be. Everybody say, I want to be the one you love. I want to be. Everybody say, I want to be the one you trust. I want to be. Everybody say, I want to be the one you love. I want to be. Mm. I want to be, <laughs> look, okay, I was told to keep your hands and feet to yourself. I was also told sticks and stones may break my bones, but words are never hurt me. That is a lie. Words are the sticks and stones. And yes, yeah, a lot of people that rather throw stones and hurt you just to keep them from expressing a love for you or a person doing hurtful things just to keep you from loving on them. Mm. I can see you need to take a seat. Yeah. Just tell me where the pain is. Is it right? Here, <laughs> you get the hint. Today's video is about how we overcome the lack of intimacy and affection. How do we overcome the lack of intimacy and affection? Well, what is it? What is the lack of intimacy and affection? It's disconnection. Neglect, it's unnatural, unfriendly, it's no touching or skin hunger, it's cold, Brrr. the lack of intimacy and affection. How do we overcome this? I say this all the time. Most of these issues stem from our childhood being physically, emotionally and verbally abused. Now you're feeling deprived or neglected. This growing to fear or PTSD leads a person to accumulate stuck points, which makes it very, very hard to recover from. But this is overcoming. This is how you overcome the lack of intimacy and affection. You know what? I want to take a brief intermission and address the parents. Mothers, fathers, listen. Our daughters need hugs and our sons need hugs. And they need just cuz hugs. Yeah, this is how you overcome the lack of intimacy and affection by just cause. Oh, you ain't make the team? Come here, I love you. Here's a hug. Oh, you made the team. Come here, I love you. Here's a hug. Oh, you got an F? Dang. Here's a hug. I love you. You got an A. Here's a hug. I love you. I say that because we don't want to create performative love. Yeah, I love my daughter just because I hug my daughter just because I tell her this all the time. Look, I'll give you a story. You know how when you, um, you know, you I, I got my daughter situated, you know, I got her everything she needed. Now I can just sit down and rest. And out of nowhere, I hear dad. I'm like, ah, oh, dad. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. 
<laughs> so warmy. And when you do things just cause you get just cause I love you. This is how you overcome the lack of intimacy and affection. And another way is change your clothes. Yeah. The things you modeling ain't yours. Get rid of them hand-me-downs. Change clothes is how you overcome the lack of intimacy and affection. Yeah, question your understanding. Because what you think might not be what it is. So this is how you overcome the lack of intimacy and affection. Another way to overcome this is by opening up channels of communication. You got Netflix, you got Hulu, you got Disney Plus. Open up some respectful, honest channels of communication. This is how you overcome the lack of intimacy and affection. And when those channels open, when y'all turn on and tune those channels, tune to those channels, be a good listener. Yeah, because this open up deeper interconnection levels. This is how you overcome the lack of intimacy and affection. This makes both parties feel secured, safe, and loved. Mm. This is <laughs> this is important. Trust me, because you have to listen to people's love languages and respect people's love languages. And you also need to know your love language. I'll tell you this because I was told less gifts, more hugs. And I'm like, well, that's part of my love language. And by not being listened to or respected, I started to protect myself. And if you doing that, I'm sure he or she is doing that. This is how you overcome the lack of intimacy and affection. So when when I was when I wasn't being heard what I didn't learn, I started to apply hand-me-downs. I started to wear the hand-me-downs. So the last thing I wanted to do is make up sex. So you hurt me, the last thing I want to do is hug you. I went to bed angry. And the Bible says to do not deprive each other unless it's mutual content for an extended time. And and this will last days sometimes. So I had this bad and learn this so you don't do uh, what I did. This is how you overcome the lack of intimacy and affection. You see, the deepest way and the strongest way to overcome the lack of intimacy and affection is built spiritual intimacy. Yeah, this is the strongest version of overcoming. This says to your partner, I love you for who you are. Not for what you did for me or can do for me or done for me. I love you for showing up for who you is. This is how you overcome the lack of intimacy and affection, spiritual intimacy. Build this. So overcomers, remember this. A man in the beginning, he created male and female. And for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and unite with his wife and the two will be one flesh. Go get your woman and hug her. Go get your man and hug him. Yeah, show up to his job unannounced just to hug him. Go get your kids and hug them. If they sit right next to you right now, hug them and kiss them and tell them, and tell them you love them. And if you never heard this today, I love you. High five. Like, subscribe and share this video. Peace.